Virgin and Jetstar continue to fly between Adelaide and Bali despite another eruption from the volcano that's caused travel chaos for almost two weeks. Harvey Biggs is live at Adelaide Airport. Harvey, what's the message to holidaymakers? Kate, the message is it's all systems go for now. Both airlines are pressing ahead to get as many passengers back home from Bali and to get people in Adelaide to their holiday destination now that the volcanic ash cloud has cleared from the flight path. A flight from here to Bali took to the skies a short time ago. Passengers worried they might face delays and cancellations, but the route has remained open and many are more than satisfied. Their safety is being put at the top of their airline's priority. If the airline says it's clear to fly, I'm happy. It looks like it's going to go ahead, so I guess we don't know until we get on the plane, but, you know, hopefully be fine. Yeah, we were a little bit stressed, weren't we? We are looking forward to a good holiday. No, not a problem. If it happens, it happens. There was relief for many who arrived back home from Bali this morning. The latest eruption happened just hours before their flight was due to take off and there was some concern if their flight would still go ahead. But it was given the green light, bringing home travellers we spoke to delayed by up to six days. No one knew they were, when they were flying out or anything and there was people there that were nearly there a week. The friends that we travelled with um, are delayed to the 19th one family and the other family to the 20th. We think we're covered by travel insurance for our accommodation costs but not our living costs. So, yeah, so we'll be out of pocket a little bit of money. But as both airlines point out, this is a volatile situation likely to change at any moment. Uh, Bali's airport is at the mercy of the wind, so travellers are urged to keep up to date by monitoring their carrier's website. Kate? Some good advice there. Thank you, Harvey.